Hi there everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Shanrell. I think I have a few minutes here between spelling and math, <laughs> homeschooling my daughter, to get this video done. So every two weeks I like to re-shop my stash for blush and lip products and I do so by using my randomizer app. It's called Pretty Random and I have all of my makeup put into a spreadsheet and I just allow that to choose my makeup for me and I've been finding it to be a super fun way to rotate through all of my makeup stuff. <laughs> so first let's talk about the items I had chosen for me last time. This is the blush that, oh, it's reflecting terribly from the window. You can't really see. It's the hourglass blush. This is the one in diffused heat. And of course, like I was really excited when this got rolled for me last time and I have highly enjoyed it. I have slowly been leaning more towards cream products as my very favorite, but this is st still, <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> Definitely not going to be decluttering this one. In the past two weeks, I used this one 10 times. Last time I had this lip gloss roll. Oh, my stuff is rolling away. I'm gonna sit this next to me here. <laughs> I have this lip gloss from MAC. This is the Lip Glass in Purr. And I'm actually wearing it today with a lip liner. And I thought it was really fresh and spring looking. And I really enjoyed these because I have, I just have a few of these in like a little mini size. And I tend, this is one of those items that I tend to not let myself wear because I know it'll be really easily used up. Like I have one that's almost gone and it's one of those things. So this was actually really nice to just let myself, just let myself use the pretty thing. So I, I enjoyed it very much. And I used this four times. Next a bullet lipstick. This is from Milani. This is one of their, in their bold matte formula. This is number 10. I am confident and this is the darkest lipstick that I own <laughs> and I definitely do not swipe it on to full opacity. I tend to tap it on and wear it like a stain and I really like the tone of it. it I feel like it's really super flattering and I actually wore it twice. I expected, like my goal with these products is to wear them at least once and I wore it twice so that to me is a big win. I typically don't wear for darker lips, but I really actually really like this. Same with this product. I wasn't quite sure what I thought of it. This is from the brand called Half Caked. This is their super glazed. It's like a thick opaque lip gloss. This is the shade Semi Charmed and once again, I really like this. This kind of reminds me of those, I think it's Revlon lip lacquer. Is that what they're called? It stays kind of sticky, like not sticky in a bad way, but like it's not a gel. It's kind of like a sticky lacquer texture. <laughs> I don't want to call it sticky because it makes it sound really bad. But in in the realm of glosses, this week I guess would be on the sticky side. I tend to enjoy that. Same with like the MAC lip gloss because it sticks to your lips. It doesn't smear all around your, your chin or <laughs> anything. You know, it stays where you put it. And it is more of a thick formula, more opaque, kind of like the, um, like, like the Revlon ones. And this is super scented, but I actually really enjoyed this color. It was like a mauve purpley color, and, I, and I, I liked it, actually. In fact, I think I might like it better than the, than the Revlon one that I have, but I'll have to do a comparison so at some point and see. And I wore this one three times. So now we get to the super fun part. I will get out my spreadsheet and my pretty random app and we will roll for the items that I will be using next. All right, for blush, I'll be using the numbers one through five and number one. All right, that will be nice. So next I will be rolling for my lip products. So let me get down over to that spreadsheet. All right, for this one, I'll be using the numbers two through 31. Number four number five, and number 20. All right, I'll go grab those products and I will be right back. All right, I am back with those products and I have the blush that was rolled. This is from Sugar Cosmetics. I think it's Sugar, Sugar Cosmetics. And this is their Contour de Force Mini Blush in the shade 01 Peach Pink. Now, I this is probably my oldest blush. You can see I've actually kind of nicked my nail in there a couple times. I got this back in Ipsy quite some time ago, probably when I first started getting Ipsy. I like it. It has like a little magnetic closure. So, and I think it, and I actually really enjoy mini size blushes. I think it's a nice way to have more blushes, but not take up as much space. <laughs> That's kind of how I rationalize it to myself anyway, but I actually, this is the one I've probably gotten the most use of out of my collection because for a while it was my only blush. When I first started getting Ipsy, I had almost no makeup. So. 
<laughs> it's kind of interesting to think about that now. But yes, I have gotten the most use out of this one in my stash, but I haven't touched it in a while because I've been doing this roulette. So I'll be happy to be using this again for the next two weeks. All right, I'm delighted with this particular pick, although actually I'm happy with all these things. Let's just, let's just talk about this. <laughs> So number four was a lipstick from Revlon. This is the color 245 called Smoky Rose. Oh, before I do that, I forgot. I realized I forgot to swatch the blush. Let me quick do that for you and get a good heavy swatch. There we go. So you can see it's definitely a peachy color and I think it's actually kind of nice and neutral on my skin. Okay, so that is the blush. Now the lipstick, Smoky Rose, I have found that over the past year or so that I actually really, and this is how it looks, it's really beautiful. And I have found over the past year or so that I really enjoy lipsticks that are kind of sheer like that. You can still kind of see the skin color coming through, but that has more of a brown undertone and it's just, I feel like it's really flattering on me instead of like, I don't know, true pink lipstick. And I just love this, but I haven't been using it. So I am delighted to use this lipstick for the next couple weeks. Number five. So you know how I mentioned that I had a MAC lip gloss that was almost empty and I can avoid using it? That would be this one. This is the one in the shade Love Child. You can see I've got all sorts of windowing going on. This is another one of those colors that when I first saw it, I was a little horrified. I think this was another, like, uh, it was a subscription box item because I'm like, I mean, look, it, it looks really purple in the bottle. But for some reason, with whatever my skin tone is, like, I have a hard time kind of nailing down exactly what my skin tone is, but it is just so flattering on me. I just love that. So I'm really looking forward to letting myself use one of these products again. And then I got a liquid lipstick. I'm happy with this. I had a bullet lipstick, a gloss, and a liquid lipstick. So this is my liquid lipstick from Ofra. This is in the shade Mocha. And this is really pretty, but I haven't gotten the use out of it that I would like. Just because I tend, I don't know, I just don't reach for my liquid lipsticks as much as I should, maybe. So that is it right there. And it is beautiful. I'm really happy with the range of colors that I have this time to choose from. Definitely more browny, purpley, and mauve going on. So this will be really fun for me. And uh, thank you guys so much for being here with me as I do this little version of a uh, shop my stash and I just I just have a lot of fun doing it so thank you guys so much for for doing it with me and I hope you guys are all staying well and safe and healthy let me know down below how you guys are doing we'll see you in the next video bye mm -hmm.